so welcome to my YouTube channel today I'm going to be showing you how you can grow really sweet tomatoes and um, some things that I do and some top tips and a special bonus tip at the end now if you've not already subscribed to my channel if you could please do so because you'll get lots of helpful hints and tips all throughout the year from my home garden my allotment and also my home kitchen now I think everyone would agree that the tomatoes you grow yourself are by far tastier than any tomato that you could possibly get in a supermarket and they're natural and you've grown them yourself so you're already winning if you're doing that now some top tips and the things that I do to look after my tomatoes now you must cane all your tomatoes so put a nice big long cane in longer than you think you'll need because they can get quite tall so all throughout the growing season you must tie them up as they grow up a bit more you then hold it back and tie a bit more the other thing you must do is you must pinch out all the side shoots one of the worst things I see is that people haven't pinched out the side shoots and their tomatoes are a complete mess. Now I've pretty much pinched out all of mine recently. Let's see if I can find any that aren't. But what you're looking for is you've got, now unless you've got a bush variety, which not many are, most of them are the cordon varieties, which are these, you have a long stem, go, I've got one here actually, a long stem going right through the middle um, and then you have leaves coming off of it. Now what you're looking for, is the side shoot that comes from where the leaf joins the main stem and it's that that you just pinch out with your fingers. Now you do that so that it focuses on growing tomatoes. You're not trying to grow lots of leafy, um, lots of leaves. You're trying to grow tomatoes. So that's what you want to try and focus on. And if you do that, that will really help. Now, another thing that will be good for your tomatoes in a whole host of ways, is to keep them in a in a hot sunny spot now this part of my garden the sun hits this and it is beneficial in many many ways um, one of them is that um, the sunnier it is the less likely you are to get blight because the sun will help get rid of the blight if the spores are in the air the other thing is it will make your tomatoes taste much sweeter as well now obviously that doesn't work if you're in a greenhouse you create your own climate in a greenhouse and um, the only thing to bear in mind with that is it doesn't get too hot so do be careful with how you moderate your temperature but if you're like me and you grow them outside um, keep them in a warm sunny spot that will do a lot of good the other thing is I never sow my tomatoes in blocks I always sow them in a row because you want lots of lovely air getting around them and that helps in so many respects it keeps the plants healthy and it keeps pests away so that I think is really really important the other thing you can be doing which I've started doing now is if you look down here where I've got completed trusses of fruit like that I'm removing the leaves below the completed trusses so every time a truss completes I remove the leaves below it so eventually as you can see over here I've done the same look you've got I've got my lovely truss of tomatoes there and I've removed all the leaves all the way down you just completely cut them off and if you see anything like this one sprouting out from the bottom you want to get this off as well so nip that off these nip out from the bottom and again it's the same thing it will take the focus away from producing fruit so the other thing is be careful how you water them um, you obviously you want to water them consistently but not so don't don't water them all for a whole week giving them loads and loads and loads you need to water them little and often if it doesn't rain now obviously if they're in pots you'll need to water them more regularly if they're in the ground like mine are which is another reason why i prefer to keep mine in the ground because they get some of their moisture from the ground you do need to be watering them little and often um, and then your fruits are more likely to form and to um, not have any damage on them. The damages that you see is blossom end rot when things aren't watered enough or they get too hot. And also sometimes if you turn the underneath of the fruits over, sometimes you get like a little brown spot on there. And again, that's not watering 
enough. Something I was going to highlight, and a lot of people get this, is leaf roll. This is just changing temperatures. We had some really, really hot days, and then you get a chilly day, and the leaves roll. That is nothing to worry about. I had a friend that had a real panic about it, and we looked it up a few years ago, and it's just something that's not, you don't need to concern yourself with that, so that's absolutely fine. The other thing to get really nice um, sweet tomatoes is you must feed them. I generally feed mine once a week with um, a tomato feed. Um, so that's really important to help them grow healthily and to get really lovely tomatoes. Something else that I personally do, and there's much debate whether it makes them sweeter or not, is that I put a little bit of Epsom salts at the base of the plants. I don't do it very often, you know, every, every few weeks, you know, maybe once a month, just a small tablespoon like that. And when I did that, I would substitute that for my normal feed. So I wouldn't do both together. I would just do it as an added extra. It's, it's magnesium, which the plants like. Um, I, I think since I've been doing this, that my tomatoes do taste better as a result. Um, yeah. oh, so I'm going to carry on doing it. So it's up to you whether you do. The other thing I do, which helps, it's a good companion planter, is basil. Again, some people say this makes their tomatoes taste be better. Well, whether it does or it doesn't, I really like basil and it's also a really good companion plant to keep all the different bugs and what have you away from your precious tomatoes. Mine aren't quite big enough to go out, but when they are, so they're just resting down there now, I will plant them in between my tomatoes um, just to keep, keep the pests at bay. So my top, top tip, if you want really, really, really sweet tomatoes, and I'm sorry if this isn't as exciting as you was hoping it was going to be, but it's to choose your varieties wisely. So go for sweeter varieties. I go for different types of cherry tomato, which I've got there, which are really lovely and sweet. And I also go for Roma. And the reason I go for Roma is because it, that's a really lovely um, tomato, really good for tomato sauces, and that has that really good flavour. Um, but yeah, do check the backs of the packets or the plants when you buy them, what they are and how sweet they are. As a general rule of thumb, cherry tomatoes are sweeter than bigger tomatoes. Um, so you just have to mix it around a little bit. One of the things I do to edge my bets or to choose different flavours is I get all different varieties every year. I have a couple of ones that I really like, which I'll always have, and then I'll choose a, a few different ones just to try new things out because they might be something that I'll really enjoy. Now either way, you're going to be growing some great tomatoes. If you've got any questions or comments and um, please do let us know and we will do our best to help.